Okay, I have an original effect to share with you today. You just need two sets of four of a kind for this. And we can stack these in whatever order you would like. Queens on top. Okay, that's just fine. Now, if you have two spectators, this would work well. It works fine with just one. But if you have two spectators, what you can have them do is randomly choose a lucky card. Okay, so they can choose any, any card that they like. This is maybe spectator A. And then what would you like, spectator B? Maybe this one, okay? So each of them is choosing a, quote, lucky card. Let's take a look at their lucky cards. Oh, okay, guess those look as lucky as any cards, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to set, set spectator A's card on top, face up, and spectator B's card on bottom, okay? So we have a packet of 10 cards now, okay? Now to mix the cards, let's go ahead and just We'll dill that into a triangle configuration, and then we'll just stack in opposite order there. And now at this point, what we're going to do is remove the lucky cards because they have done their job or they have failed to do their job. We'll find out in just a moment, actually. So now you turn to spectator A and you explain to them, we're going to mix these cards thoroughly and go ahead and just demonstrate with the shuffles are. Uh, one's a left-right shuffle with random stacking, maybe right on left or left on right. The other one is into four piles like this. We're stacking the top row and the bottom or vice versa, and then random stacking here. Okay. So how many of those would you like me to perform on this packet? One into two piles and two into four piles. Okay. So one into two. I think I can do that. How would you like these stacked? Left on right? And I think you asked for two into four. Do you want the top row on the bottom or bottom? you want top on bottom? How would you like these stacked? Right on left, okay? I think you asked for a second one of those. Okay, you want top on bottom or top on bottom? Okay, what about stacking here, left on right? Okay, so spectator B, are you content with the mixing of the cards? If so, we'll stop. Or would you like me to perform any more of those? You want two left, right? Okay, how should I stack the first one? Your choice, left on right. And then I think you asked for two of those. Left on right again, okay. Do you want any dealings into four? You don't, okay, that's fine. Now note to you as a performer, the spectators, the two of them can ask for any number of these shuffles as they like. It truly is a free choice. And so to finish, since we began with two sets of four of a kind, what I'm going to do is just spell out four of a kind in this way. So F-O-U-R, set down the next card, of, O, F, set down the next card, A, set down the next card, and then kind, K-I-N-D, set down the next card. Okay, so how did we do? How lucky were your cards? Were they able to bring us good luck? Well, let's just take a look. Okay, that's looking <laughs> pretty darn lucky, I would have to say. We have regained our four of a kind. I'm so glad you chose an eight, and I'm so very glad you chose a jack. That is amazing. Okay. So how is this done? Well, you just do everything that I did. It's using Bessie sequences of order eight. So I'll add a link to Bessie sequences and routines involving Bessie sequences in the description below. Uh, but we essentially began, you just do what I showed actually. Now the new revelation here in terms of a new discovery is I've discovered that if you have four of a kind, four of a kind stacked, and then you have two up-facing cards, one on each end. Performing this triangle deal has a magical effect on the packet. Now, I'm calling this pile one, two, three, as we go around. So you pick up the second one, number two, and then stack in reverse order. That's important, okay? Because what that does, amazingly, if you pull out, now you pull out the lucky cards. They've done their job or haven't done their job. We'll find out in just a moment. What we're left with is a Bessie sequence of order eight relative to kings and queens. So you can see here, 
queen, king, king, queen, king, queen, queen, king. Now, when it's, once it's in this kind of organization, as I've talked about extensively on my channel, there's hundreds of ways of mixing this without destroying that structure. It's virtually indestructible relative to systematic mixing procedures that we use today. And then when you're done, all I did was I used a very clever separation procedure created by Warner Miller. He came up with this where you just do F-O-U-R, set down the next card, and then put the cards back. O, F, set down the next card. A, set down the next card. K, I, N, D, set down the next card. And that is guaranteed to separate the two sets of four, whichever ones you chose for the performance. So that's the secret. And take a look at links in the description below because there's many, many amazing effects using Bessie sequences and also many amazing effects by Warner Miller as well. So thank you again and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.